Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Valentine's DIY for you today. I'm super simple, all Dollar Tree, mostly Dollar Tree products. I think they're all Dollar Tree, but we'll see. But in my mug, ooh, I have it backwards guys. I hate not two-sided mugs. In my magical mug, I have some red rose strawberry cheesecake tea that one of you lovely sent me. Thank you again so much, it's delicious. And I thought it was appropriate in my pink cup since we're doing Valentine's stuff. It tastes like a slice of cheesecake, I'm not gonna lie. It's delicious. But I digress. We have crafting to do. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, supplies. What are we making? A wall sign. You've probably seen the thumbnail. Um, we're making a wall hanging, not a leaning sign. I guess it could be a leaning sign, but I'll probably hang it. So materials. I got this wooden heart. Notice there's no holes in it. This came from the Crafter Square section in my Sad Little Dollar Tree section, but they also have these in the Valentine section um, with the holes already that are drilled. You can use either one. I'm attaching this to a background, so no holes is fine. I'm not even taking the tag off the back. Then I picked up this package of metallic jot poster board comes in a five pack there's gold silver red green and blue and it's metallic and lo and behold it's 11 by 14 perfect size for me well it's actually 11 by 14 and two eighths of an inch I may have to trim it a tidbit and if you notice I already took the gold out because I'm gonna go with gold and then I got this at the Dollar Tree an 11 by 14 frame um yeah so i'm going to use this now i'm taking the glass out but i'm going to put the glass behind the poster board because i'm attaching the heart <laughs> i'm attaching the heart to the gold poster board you'll see i've got a vision guys and then i need um i don't need but i have the metal words Valentine, XO, and Love. Love is currently drying. So I took a paint pen, Dollar Tree, or this is a Sharpie. I will tell you the difference. This is more matte than the Sharpie when it dries. It doesn't matter which one you use, they both work. You have to put it on pretty heavy, let it dry, don't touch it. And if you need to go back and touch it up, dab. Do not rub because you'll take the paint right off. However, maybe it's dry. I don't know. I had to let it dry completely. But I wanted, yeah, I wanted my word to be black. So I made it black. These are not easy to paint. I'm not going to lie. Spray paint was difficult. It's metal. It's hard to, to paint. Um, but this, these paint markers work. So I needed the black. I can put it away. A good paintbrush or a type of paintbrush. Paint with whatever color scheme you're going with. I have some gold here and I have some red and some white. I think I'm gonna go ombre and then maybe dry brush a little gold over it, but we'll see, because the background is gonna be gold on mine. If you don't have gold poster board, however, get white and just paint it gold. This paint, um, I just bought it at Martha Stewart Home Decor Paint was on clearance at my Michaels for 97 cents, so that was pretty cheap. Potentially some scissors if I have to do any cutting of that board and a ruler because I want to line up my heart and something to write with, like a pencil. And hot glue gun, eventually, but I won't need that right now. So I will turn you around. The first thing we're going to do is um, measure out the heart to make sure I know where it's going in my frame and then we'll set up the frame we're going to paint this is going to take probably a two night process because before oh i'm sorry mounting tape of some sort this comes from the dollar tree but you see how thick it is i want my love to be a little raised up you could also mount your heart but it's not quite flat so this might be a challenge plus when you paint it you're going to see that it's going to get um bumpy too yeah this is definitely not flat can you see that curve so i'm gonna have to do some strategic gluing i mean it 
will glue. There's enough points for me to glue it down. Most likely I'll have to put glue here, here, and here. But let's paint it first and see what happens. So I'm going to switch your direction, put some of this on the floor because I don't need that right now. And we're going to set up the frame first. One minute. Okay, the first thing I did, and I did it off site, off camera, is I centered this where I think I would like it to go. Um, so what I did is I measured my heart. I just laid it down and I thought, okay, well that looks center and I made sure there was enough on each side and then up top and then I just drew around it. Um, with a pencil, you see the light pencil lines, just so I know where to glue this down when it's time. So that step is done. Oops. Okay, now I'm taking this apart. I will tell you one thing I will do with the hot glue to stabilize this frame when I'm done is I will run, I got, I will run hot glue around here just to because look it's just you know they're cheap frames guys and the bigger the cheap frame the more op opportunity I feel like there is for it to fail on me and we don't want failing on us right that would be bad okay so I'm taking the back off which is this one is I'm not gonna lie super cheap let's take a look I may just do a quick little, oh, I guess I don't even need to do that because <laughs> I'm taking the glass out. So I took the glass out, so ignore that one step. And I'm gonna drop this in here and hope for the best. Oh, it fits perfect. No cutting involved. Now, I want some stability back here. And be careful with these glass panels, guys, because they will cut you. They will cut you. All right. And then you just kind of drop that back in. And it's just going to help stabilize everything. It's like we said, I am not hanging that from this hook. I can tell you that right now because this is heavy. So if I decide to hang this, I will glue or something. Probably take my E6000 and glue some some. Um, jewelry rings in the corner and then tie string if I decide to hang it we'll see but I'm definitely sealing up the back with hot glue that is going to happen so when you turn it over I'm sorry for the glare but it's in there and I could if I need to go in there and like glue it to the glass I just don't feel like that's going to stay because it's glue and it's glass but um, yeah, so we have the poster board done. That step is complete. I have my love complete. And it's going to end up on here with these post puffy. I can pull one out and show you what it looks like. And I get this at the Dollar Tree. They're like mounting block thingies. I don't even know what you call them. But they're in the hardware section. But look how thick that is. And they will stick to the back. I may have to trim them, but they will stick to the back and raise that love sign up. But we are not at that spot yet. The spot we are at is the fun spot. Got your brush. Let me get this stuff out of my way because it's going to get crazy here. I want to do ombre. White, pink, 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 red. So starting up here and kind of going at this angle and getting the darkest red here and the lightest white here. And to do that, you need a fair amount of paint. Unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know how you want to look at it. So I may need more than one paintbrush, to be truthful. Because you want your good red, your solid white, and by all means, be a professional and uh, use a uh, something to put your paint on and not just squeeze it willy-nilly. But 
it has to be blended and you need a lot of paint. So I'm like, why dirty things that I don't need to dirty, right? So we need some red over here. Ooh. Okay, and this is thick paint, just so you know. This Martha Stewart stuff. So first, first things first, let's get some red going down here. And you see how thick it is? And don't worry about the side of the heart. I'm going to go add it with um, a black, with the black over here. And then we're going to get this white going up here. And that is the extent. Ooh. Now do you see why I have parchment paper down? This is going to get messy. I don't care. We want it messy. Right? Isn't crafting fun if it's messy? So we have... And that's why I said you really got to let this dry overnight. I'm going to bring some paint this way. And now what we're just going to do, I don't think I need this brush, but we'll see, is we're going to start blending. Right? I'm just getting all the paint off my brush. And it's on here pretty thick. Give me a little more white in the center here. And here we go. I'm scared. There we go. And then you just keep blending. And the center will end up like a pink color. I won't put any of this into the white corner because I really want that to be bright white. And this end piece over here dark red but in the center <laughs> and you can take oh said it was gonna be messy right you can take this brush and kind of give yourself a little extra right a little extra with the red blending but now do you see why we needed all the bread and all the white there we go and then the last step i will end up using that other paintbrush, maybe just to smooth out the lines. <gasps> Isn't that fun? And I think it looks a little less farmhouse, maybe, and a little more, I, I hasten to say modern because I doubt it's modern either, but it's definitely not shiplap and there. Is that fun or is that fun? Uh, we could totally go over this with a little bit of gold. Um, if you do that, I would wait till it dries. Because if not, you're just going to end up blending the gold in. And we don't want to do that. There we go. No, stop. Stop me, somebody. There. There is my ombre heart. That I'm going to let dry completely wash up my paints and I'll come back and we can do all the assembly how easy is this guys and this is what that is going to look like see why I wanted it black it's just going to absolutely pop you could also by the way cover these in um deco mesh deco wrap stuff that gold sparkly silver stuff you get from the dollar tree the deco I think it's deco wrap Mm. You could also cover your heart in faux fur. How fun would that be? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave this alone. Well, I'm not going to leave it alone because I see brush marks, but we're going to stop before I ruin it. There. We're going to, I'm not done. I'm not stopping. Who's not stopping me? We're going to stop what we're doing and we're going to let this dry. And then I'll be back for assembly. We are back and my heart is dry. And I'm liking the way it turned out. Now what I've done on the back of this word is I took that mounting tape and I just cut little strips. So they fit and you won't see them from the front. And if you do see it from the front, you can take, oops, an X-Acto knife and kind of clean it up. 
this little piece right here I think I can just do with my nail yeah okay so now what I'm gonna do oh and on my heart I just painted the edges black with my paint marker paint pen so you want to take an exacto of some sort and peel off this backing. If you're not careful with that, what will happen is you'll pull the tape, the mounting tape off. So you want to use an exacto or tweezers would work as well. I'm just going to be gentle here and lift up this tape. And then we have to decide where we want it. And while this is happening, I am also heating up my glue gun to mount this heart. I'm super excited how easy this is. And it's a little out of my comfort zone. I'm trying to do a little, I think we'll call it like glam sort of. Although if you want it really glammy, you could add a bunch of um, like that gold sparkly deco or glitter to your heart. Um, but I want this to match my house too. All right, so I have all the little tape backings off. Be careful with your X-Acto knife. And I'm going to take this word and I think I'm going to center it. Where do I want it off center? I think I'll do it off center. Yeah. And then we're just going to press them down just to get them to hold. That's why I did tape in all different positions because we knew that the heart itself is not, um, it's not flat. See, it curls a little bit. All right, now we're gonna grab this and this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna hot glue and it's gonna end up in this Frame. Now, I can tell already that, like I said before, at the bottom and the two tops is where I'm going to hot glue. And I want a fair amount down here because I'm afraid, because of the weird shape, that it's not necessarily, maybe I'll do a little over here. However, I don't know where it's going to stay. I got to stand up for this part though, guys. And I just want to drop it into the heart that I drew. And then just kind of press it down. And that's it. We'll let it dry. I will come in with my X-Acto. I can already see one little... You just want to be careful with this kind of paper. Um, that you don't scratch it. There, I just had a string. How fun is that? I'm gonna take it downstairs and set it up and show you what the finished product looks like after I let this glue dry for a few minutes. All right guys, here's the finished product and I really like it. I think it's definitely something different. You could totally paint the frame gold, paint it white, do a shiplap background if you're looking for something more country. But I wanted something a little blingy today. And this is how I'm going to display it. So I hope you enjoyed our easy little Dollar Tree DIY. Have a good one.